Witcher 5 Season 2 is finally out, and we've got brand new awesome powers, and we can even use them in creative mode. On top of that, we've got insane new devices and lots to talk about. Before we get into all the updates, I just want to check out the Battle Pass. I love looking at the new things in the new season. Ooh, that Cerberus skin is sick. There's some really cool, like, oh, look here. We've got, like, the live event. Here's the upgraded Cerberus. Oh, this is awesome. Guys, make sure when you go in and buy the Battle Pass, you use code Mustard Plays. Still can't believe I can say that. Okay, Aphrodite is pretty cool. But I really like her upgraded skin. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love this swing emo. Okay, that's sick. Also, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. Please do it. Oh, Poseidon. Oh, okay. This is really good. Oh, there's a Medusa. I didn't even realize there was a Medusa. Look at those snakes. That is so cool. And of course, Zeus himself. Oh, that's cool. And then Hades. Okay, I love that Hades is in this. Oh, like, look at this dark transformation. That is so awesome. And then there's Korra. Korra is in the battle pass. I, I, I'm curious why they chose Korra over like Aang. Okay, let's get into the actual update. All right, first we got a bunch of the new season two weapons, including the wings of Icarus and the thunderbolts of Zeus. Now I'm gonna get into those later into the video, but first let's check out these new guns. Okay, this is the Cerberus Gatekeeper shotgun. So this is the like mythic version of the shotgun. There we go. Okay, that shit's pretty good. That's pretty fast. It feels kind of like an auto shotgun. Look, I got a sentry over here. Let's go shoot him. We are from a distance. Boom. Oh, it's not doing any damage. Maybe this guy's invulnerable, but I really like the feel of it. That feels nice. The reload's pretty quick. Okay, this is the Zeus Huntress DMR. So once again, this is the mythic version of the new DMR. Oh, look at that. It zooms in really nice. Shoots. Oh, wow. The kickback on that is huge. And this is the, the mythic version. Man, that's wild. I don't know if I would use this very much, but each his own. We also have the Warforged Assault Rifle. This is, once again, the mythic version. Here we go. And boom. Woo! That feels nice. It has, like, almost no kickback. Oh, that is really cool. Now, each of these weapons can be modded. Now, I have to get an epic version of the gun here. But then we can go up to the mod bench, and there's actually new mods. So in the site, there is a thermal sight that you can equip. So let's do that. And then there's a new grip here that increases movement speed while aiming. So we can uh, attach that as well. May as well upgrade uh, my muzzle and everything. Okay, so here's the thermal scope. Oh, that's cool. You can turn it on and off the actual thermal part of it. Let's see, when I'm going aiming down sights, though, I guess I move faster. I can't really tell. But that's really cool that we got the new mods with the new weapons as well. Like I said, I'm gonna get into the wings and the Zeus bolt in just a minute. Now, before we do though, let's check out a new device called the post process device. This is really cool for you 1.0 folks out there. Basically this device lets you go in between different filters. So you can see this filter I just put on has these really cool effects around items. You can do dark mode. So there we go. We turn everything dark or film noir. There's all of these effects that we've kind of had in the island settings. There are a few extra ones. I think like, I think this desolate one is is meh, maybe it's new half tone one i think it's new yeah this one's definitely new we haven't seen this before there is the cctv like footage oh dude that's cool i really like that so the cool thing is you can switch between these so this is the 70s print here's action lines oh that's cool i love that Woo! it makes you look like you're going fast i guess but you can trigger these now by enabling or blending it in or resetting and you can change between the filters whenever you want so you could have an area that is using the comic look like this and then switch to one that is low exposure and then switch to one that is neo comic like this so there's all these really cool new post processing like options oh that one's crazy oh my gosh radio blur oh wait oh whoa whoa okay we want to give people headaches yeah oh my gosh this one makes me feel like i don't have glasses on or something it's just blurry vision dhs filter okay that's cool wait wait i gotta i gotta see the last one vignette and oh yeah that's nice so you can trigger these on and off and change the effect duration of it. So it can last, you know, for X amount of seconds or minutes. Oh, you can even change the strength of it. So really cool device there. But we got another one that's even better. It's called the camera orbit device. Check this out, guys. This basically lets us do first person mode with the camera. So you can see this is where the camera is pointing. But let me just show you what it's like. So I'm going to hit start on it. So you can kind of see the camera is following my player now wherever I'm pointing. So this is different than like the fixed point camera, which was just kind of pointing where you wanted it to like it's staying with your player this is staying where your player 
is pointing. So we can come in here though and change some of these settings to wait. Let's just like make the field of view like really huge. And let's just see what that feels like. Oh yeah, so the field of view now you can see it's kind of like stretched out. You can also change like the distance it is to your player. So if I make it zero, it goes right over his shoulder. And then I can even change like where it is on the axis here. So if I move this one over to zero, then it's right inside my guy. Let's try this out. I'm gonna hit start on this and look. Oh my gosh, I'm inside my Peely's head. Ah! But now if that's bothering you, you don't wanna be inside Peely. Well, that sounds weird to say that, but if you don't wanna be inside Peely, you can hide the player character. So like now when I start it, he's completely invisible when I'm walking around. So it makes it a more immersive experience. Now, this is not true first person. True first person, you'd be able to see their arms. You'd be able to see the player, but this is better than using the big like helicopter pad that we've been using in the past. Like, I feel like there's a lot of stuff here that could be really cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Distance night. Wait, wait, I guess what this feels like. Here we go. Start and whoa. <laughs> My guy's running around. <laughs> And he's like, I'm so far away. Like the render distance on the map is breaking the map. Okay, well, uh, that, that's probably not very wise to use it that far away. But you could have it now far away from him where we start it. And now when we're running around with our guy, it feels way better in this like top down or whatever third person mode. This feels really nice. So this is a really great device. I can't wait to play with it more. But we're getting closer to having some real controls here and really to true first person. Okay, now this update is absolutely massive. And I can't really show it to you, but I can talk about it. So they've enabled persistent data in verse. What does that mean? That means now programmers can use your save data to do all sorts of things in the game. Things like track custom settings, statistics, and profile data for players. This is gonna make it so map makers can do all sorts of things that they were restricted to do before. Like the tycoons you've played are nothing compared to the things you will play in the future. Like, I, like I cannot state enough how huge of an update this is. This is probably one of the most important updates we've had since UEFN came out. So this is exciting. I can't wait to see what people do with this. Okay, now let's try out the Wings of Icarus. This is kind of like the moment I've been waiting for because this is a big deal for creative mode because usually when uh, Battle Royale gets mythics, we never ever get it. We never get these cool items that you can use. Let's try this out. So we're going to take flight. Whoa! Oh my gosh, we are literally flying. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So let's see, we can ascend. Whoa, we can go way up high. Wait, what happens if we go right up to the sun? Oh, look, there's like a bar that is how long I can fly for. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Look, we can dodge to the left. We can dodge to the right. And then we can dive up. Whoa! Okay, this is sick. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Wait, I wanna see how does this interact with things though? Like if I place down some bouncers here, what happens if I like dive into this? So here we go. We're gonna dive right into the bouncer. Boom! Oh, we still bounce off it really high. Whoa, we got some major height off of that. Whoa, it interacts really well with that. Okay, wait a second. What if I built like a trap tunnel? Then I have to fly through this. Okay, let's give this a try. All right, here we go. Can we speed through this and... Wait, it didn't go off at all. None of the traps went off. Wait, uh, the trap's not going off. Oh, the traps aren't going off. But I think that's plenty fast to get through a trap tunnel if we like sprint it through it. That is cool. I'm curious though if you can shoot a gun while flying. But now I have a gun. Let's uh launch off and... Okay, yeah, I cannot switch over to my gun. So you are very vulnerable when you're flying around, but it's a really, really cool item. I can't believe you have it in creative mode. Let's check out the Zeus lightning bolt now. There it is. It's beautiful. Okay, here we go. We're going to equip it. And there it is. Oh my gosh. We have it in. Ah, oh, this is crazy. So let's throw a one in. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. This feels like Goku's mythic or even like the Deco smash. It kind of like feels similar in how it plays, but uh, I can't believe we actually have it in creative mode. Like, what does this do to build? If I throw this at a build, here we go. Whoa, whoa, it just destroyed that build. So very exciting to get the season two stuff right away. Last time we had to wait so long. Great update. Happy season two.